What's up, guys? Um, today, I want to discuss, um, I guess, how I feel about the <clears throat> Junior um, killing. Uh, rest in peace to Junior. I send my condolences to his family, his father, his mother, uh, his sister, brothers, um, the whole family, his friends, anyone else out there that's connected to him. I send my condolences. And uh, with this case that I just heard that um the cops or well, those boys will be charged as if Junior was a police officer. Uh, I um I'm happy for his family that uh justice will be served for his family even though you know they can't get him back. Um basically my whole purpose and my goal is to reach out to the youth. Uh most mostly ages twelve to twenty in that range I feel like that's where I feel like personally there's still a chance to stop them from doing certain things so this specific video is about uh, it not being worth it so that's what it's, it's not worth it right okay so the case was Junior was butchered to death basically over someone's sister allegedly someone's sister that Junior was recording. Uh, the public outrage is because Junior was actually not the person that was recording. It was another young boy. When I say that it's not worth it, I want people to look at every situation that they are in. So with this specific situation, as Junior, I mean, sorry, as that girl's brother and family, whoever was connected to her, and then whoever's still out there connected to her, think about this, right? This girl was in a video having sex with another young man. So she was getting recorded by one boy while she was having sex with another young man, right? So she wasn't being raped as as we could tell in the video. And I'm not, I don't think that's the story that she's putting out anyways. It's just that maybe the public shame and her being humiliated and things of that sort, right? So let's say that Junior was actually the person that was the person that was recording her. When I say that it's not worth it, you killing a young person or killing someone in general because they were recording your sister is not equal. It's not of the same. They're not on the same level. If anything, if the person was the right person, if it was the, at Junior was actually the person, if anything, the most he should have got was a slap in the face. Yo, don't record nobody's sister so that he could learn a lesson. That was a teachable moment. If anything, maybe even getting jumped, maybe if you want to take it that far. And I feel like that's even drastic because like I said, the sister was the one that was in the room with two boys and while one having sex with her it doesn't even it doesn't even matter that one was recording you're having sex with someone else while another person is in the room watching you like actively watching you so who knows what both of those boys were doing you know to that girl um or what she i would assume what she allowed them to do to her right so again like i said it's not worth it it's 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 obvious to me it's pretty obvious because you just gotta really look at it for what it is if it was rape if it was violence if it was something of that nature i would have a different reaction right now i would still have the same reaction because you got the wrong person but if this was the actual person i would possibly have the, a different reaction i don't have any sisters so i don't know how i would feel if it was my sister you get what I'm saying? So I know anybody out there, they probably, because if they have sisters, they're probably like, nah, if that's my sister, then I would want to, I understand that, but you cannot kill someone because they recorded your sister who actively and voluntarily participated in sexual intercourse. She just happened to be getting recorded. That is not on the same wavelength. Getting recorded 
and killing, not on the same wavelength. So when I say that it's not worth it, I want people to look at their situations that they are in. Any situation that that may be. It doesn't have to be this one. If you're in a gang right now, person go punch your friend in the face, right? You go back instead of you guys, and you guys are young, I'm talking about young kids, You guys, instead of you guys going back and you fight, instead you go back and you go get a gun and you go and shoot up whatever block. You hit an innocent person, whatever. It's not worth, it's not equal. It's just not equal. And I want to I wanna start preaching this into young kids' head, into older adults' head so that they can start thinking about the situation that they are in. It is not worth it. Also, I want to speak briefly on, um, you know, the the girl in, I, I guess, why the friends would take it so far to go out and look for the actual boy and, you know, mistake him, but look for the actual boy. I feel, if anything, the girl should have been the one that you guys should have targeted. I mean, I'm talking about the brother should have um, possibly said something to her. Um, maybe you, the, the brother could have possibly yelled at her. How could you ever be in a room with two boys? I mean, I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't help my mom raise you to be that kind of girl. Or what about prior to that? Was she involved in any type of dance classes? Was she involved in any type of sports? Was you on her about... Was you on her about going to school? Was you on her about reading? Was you on her about completing all of her assignments? I feel, this, I don't have any sisters, but I feel if you're on top of your sister, and I'm not talking about blocking them from doing every single thing in life. I'm talking about pushing them in the right direction that they wouldn't even go out and stare off and do that type of stuff. But guess what? If you're a gang member and you have a sister, you are not the proper role model to look up to because the type of things that you're involved in yourself is it, it doesn't help she's probably looking at you guess what you probably have a bunch of girls inside of the house see you have to really think about the things that you're doing before you do it you should have thought about all of this and for all of the guys that was involved in 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 that in that murder i actually feel bad for you guys because i feel like you guys really was not thinking but I, Honestly, no one cares. No one cares. Not even for the person that, you know, claimed that they didn't know what was going on. No one cares. And and I, I feel bad for you guys. But I would say that my message is really to people out there that's involved in certain behaviors and activities um, that they don't have to be involved in. I want to get the message to them. I want everything to be to them. Because um, basically I was an at-risk youth when I was younger and people helped me out. People helped me out. So I want to help other people out. So I'm going to use, you know, this platform of YouTube and make more videos and talk about different things and, and what, you know, what you could get involved in. But basically, overall, my whole entire message is it's not worth it. And also I start saying that, you know, uh, violence is a disease which means that there is a cure somewhere. Thank you for listening.